This video will show you how I convert the Eugene F4 brush board for use uh, with brushless speed controllers. Um, it involves removing the FETs and these pull down resistors. And then I bridge um, <clears throat> the gate and the, the drain, or the, yes, uh, so that the signal shows up on, on the motor pad. I'll explain that in a bit. So uh, first thing we need to do is uh, remove these components. Now to keep the board from running away from me, here's my tip. Instead of helping hands or anything else, use some poster tack, some blue tack, fun tack, whatever you call it. Jam your board on that. Good to go. Um, great, my tripod is around my hot air gun here. Second, there we go. So using a hot air to remove these. Um, I set it to 280 degrees Celsius. We'll figure out what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, typical soldering temperature. Now the trick here to get it in around the camera is slowly bring this in and you kind of I'll try to heat up the whole board kind of smoothly for a bit just to slowly bring up the temperature across the whole board and then I'll start to focus on one of these guys and I just kind of put my tweezer in on the side here give it a little bit of force with that heat on it Oops. a little bit there it goes there's one getting hot there it goes the other one Let's get these resistors out of the way goodbye resistor there's get this other one there and in there heat them up there we go. All right, work on this side. Easy peasy. There we go. Done. Now, I just need the bridge. Point to it. Right here. So you could solder your ESC signal wire right to here if you wanted to. But that's a pretty small little pad and it's not backed up on the other side. If you lift it off, you're kind of screwed. So I'm just going to take a little piece of wire from here to here. And that'll let that signal get the whole way out to this motor pad. And then that's where I'll connect my ESCs. So um, let me get a piece of wire. using some real small gauge stuff 32 gauge with some wire wrapping wire cheap stuff we're going to strip all the insulation off of it anyway so it doesn't need to be our good silicone wire clean up my iron dip it in the brass sponge a little bit there come in put a little tin on these pads you can see how much i shake after my coffee in the morning There we go, like so, and then we'll bring this little wire in, and get a little dab of solder on my iron here. Gonna try to be don't try to be a perfectionist, it just makes it worse. There we go. Good enough. Done. Uh, 